Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to be doing a review of the Bros Trend AC3 AC1200 Wi-Fi USB adapter. First of all, I bought this Wi-Fi USB adapter. This is not sponsored, it's my own personal review. I got this adapter because my Alienware Aurora R4 onboard Ethernet is capped to 100 megabits per second. And the Wi-Fi is even worse. This wasn't a problem when I had DSL of 15 megabits per second download. And not even one up. Yeah, that's pretty horrible, I know. Now that I have Starlink, thankfully, my download speed can vary between 50 megabits per second to about 200 megabits per second download. Which means my old Ethernet and Wi-Fi will not cut it. So that's where the Bros Trend AC3 comes in. The Bros Trend AC3 is capped at 867 megabits per second on 5 gigahertz and 300 megabits per second on 2.4 gigahertz. Plenty for my speeds with Starlink. The majority of the time I'll use this adapter for browsing, streaming, and the main reason downloading. For gaming, I'll still use the Ethernet protocol. The Bros Trend AC3 comes with a nice looking stand, a Wi Fi adapter, and two antennas. It did come with a driver CD and a quick installation guide. Yeah, I'm not going to use the CD, so I'll install the driver before plugging it in. Right, it's Bros Trend. Let's see if we can find the driver for this. Alright, that would be this one here. Oh wait, there was the download there. Uh, let's go back. Alright, right here. Download center, is that the right area? Yep. Um, okay, so this is AC3. Ah, that'd be this one right here. Let's download it. Driver for Windows 10. And it says Google Drive. Okay. So download then. Download anyway. And it's downloading. Downloaded. Good. So this is it. Let's click on it. Windows. Let's just bump it here. Run the setup. I don't have it plugged in yet. I will plug it in. Uh, just do the setup stuff here first before I actually plug it in. So the base is plugged in. Not the antennas yet. This right here is my beef. Look at this, 100 megabits per second download. Now my internet fluctuates in between like 60 to about 160, but I don't want to be capped by my um, ethernet port. So this is the whole reason why I got this thing to begin with. Hopefully it'll go beyond 100. My PC's Wi-Fi is even worse than that. All right, let's uh, plug it in. So technically, it's probably going to connect to this. Yeah, see, it's at 72 right now. It won't go any higher than that. It stays there. That's its max. So let's plug this thing in. Let's see what this does. Wi-Fi 2. Let's connect to my booster. Give me a moment. Do you want to enable this PC? No. Ooh, it says it's connected. Signal strength, quality. Oh, would you look at that? It's a heck of a lot higher. Oh, so much better than 100. So technically, if you had a gigabit, you would be capped to this right here. Anyway, let's uh, run a speed test. I have Starlink, so it's roughly about like 60 to about 160. If I'm lucky, I get 200. Let's have a look. Well over 100. With my Ethernet port, I was literally only getting about, um, about 60 to about 70. I wasn't even getting anywhere near the 100 megabits. So I'm definitely getting the speeds here. Which is awesome. It's looking pretty good. Mm 
Not bad. Not bad at all. You can switch from 2.4 gigahertz to 5 gigahertz by pressing the WPS button. But mine for some reason won't switch unless you spam the button a few times. Either way, both show the same speeds at 2.4 and 5 gigahertz as my Starlink speeds are below the max rated speeds for this adapter. Pros, number one, it's got a good range. Number two, seems quite stable most of the time. Cons, the stand is light, meaning if the antennas are pointing out, the stand will fall forward. So yeah, this is an issue with the base. Let's kind of move it straight here. If you move the antennas up, sometimes it would want to fall forward so it doesn't sit properly. You have to move the antennas backwards and then it'll sit properly. So that's kind of annoying. The base should be a little bit more heavier. Uh, I can always fix that myself and make the base heavier. I have had it drop the connection a few times, even when the booster is four feet away. Most of the time it's stable, but you can see it dropping here. Well, I'm going to pause this for now. It seems to be doing all right. It is dipping a bit. Oh, it dropped out. Didn't it? There's no signal strength. See, this is what I was talking about. Uh, and it's actually the reason why I'm writing that in here right now. It dropped out. So I have two boosters in the house. There's one in the living room and there's one that's closest to the adapter. And what I was thinking that was happening is Windows itself was trying to bounce back and forth in between the boosters. And that's what was screwing up the, the connection. It kept dropping out. So what I did was went into the Realtek USB wireless LAN utility, went into available networks, and I clicked on the Wi-Fi booster that's closest to the adapter. And I connected to that one only. And I haven't had an issue since. So it's it's stable. It's not disconnecting anymore. So I think that was the issue. It was pretty easy to set up. It was simple enough to get the drivers from the website and install it. I'll have a more detailed review of this product on my website, including speed test results and driver links and so on. Either way, it's not much of a review, but it's doing me well. Uh, a lot better than what this computer actually had, uh, which is a dinosaur. So I guess it's an improvement. Either way, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please rate and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.